Rachel and I will be making whole wheat muffins. And the men went out and collected wheat from the field and Ma grinded it into flour. I've already added baking powder, flour, and cinnamon and nutmeg into my bowl. And now I'm going to be adding in some baking soda. Now wheat happens to be one of the most nutritious of the grains that you can cook with. And so uh, we cook a lot of different meals uh, based on the wheat grain that we grind up into flours. So. And now I will be adding buttermilk. And the buttermilk just adds that moisture that you need in your muffin and uh, gives it a, a, another taste, a really, really, really good taste. So, uh, and instead of honey, or instead of sugar, we're going to be adding honey. What's the reason that you're adding the honey versus the white sugar? Well, white sugar is more expensive than the honey, and honey is more natural. Right. And of course, we have beescapes out in the garden. And so because we have the beescapes out in the garden, we have honey uh, accessible to us at all times. And so uh, we like to use the honey instead of the expensive white sugar. Are your chickens laying really good right now? Yeah, they're laying really well because of the sunshine. During the summer, you get more hours of daylight, and so the eggs definitely, or the chickens definitely lay more eggs. Uh, so, yeah. And of course, uh, they churned butter earlier, and uh, you're going to add the butter now. Do you need a lot of butter or just a little? Just a little. Okay. So these wheat muffins will last a long time uh, stored in the cold cellar. They won't last very long if they're just sitting out on the table. Wheat tends to collect germs faster and so it will mold faster. Uh, but with my 10 children, nothing lasts very long in this household. So I think you've got that pretty well uh, mixed up. and. Uh, so I just want to show some of the other things that um, we are uh, making with the wheat and the wheat flour. And you can see the muffins look really good. And what did you top them with? We topped them with cinnamon and sh um, sugar. So that gives them a little sweeter taste. One of the other things that uh, I cooked for breakfast this morning uh, was whole wheat pancakes and the kids actually love uh, to actually take them out into uh, the field. They make a really easy thing to pack for the uh, guys that are out harvesting and you have honey, eggs, uh, buttermilk, uh, wheat flour, white flour, and baking soda in the pancakes. At some point we also want to make a wheat bread but to make a wheat bread you need a yeast or a leaven. And I have the leaven setting here. It's uh, a half a cup of warm water mixed with a half a cup of flour. And then it sets in a crock uh, overnight. And each day you're going to add flour and water until it's the fifth day and then it's ready to actually use as a leaven. And you can make a lot of different kinds of breads with that. Uh, now, I do have the men coming in a little bit, and they are anxious to have their favorite, which is cherry pie. The cherries are actually on the trees now, and I have used uh, whole wheat to make a whole wheat pie crust. The whole wheat pie crust is very simple to make. It's just butter, whole wheat, water, and mix it all up with a little salt, and then you're going to actually uh, roll it out. Put it in the pan, mix up your cherries, cover it with uh, cinnamon and sugar, and you've got a great dessert for the men when they come in from the field. Ah, I see a young man in there waiting for something to eat, Miss Elizabeth. Would you like to serve your brother something to eat?
Charles? Very good. Would you also like a pancake? Yes, please. Are you hungry, Miss Elizabeth? Yeah. I will hand you this platter and you may uh, join your brother and have a little brunch. Are, is your sister's muffins good? Well, I think we have another hit on our hands. Very good, Miss Elizabeth. You're going to turn in quite a baker. Thanks for joining us.